Hello everyone, I'm Vittorio. I'm gonna explain in this tutorial, which is my first video tutorial, what is the crack problem and how to solve it. The crack problem is a very common problem in 2D collision detection and resolution when uh, every single body is uh, detected and resolved uh, uh, singularly, not uh, by making an average of all the collisions. So let me explain with a drawing because it's easier to understand. Consider we have uh, um, some tiles which are static, and that means they are not moving, and this can be the floor of our game environment. Now, if we have a player object, which is another box that's moving at the same time to the right and to the bottom of the game environment it will sometimes get stuck between two different tiles this happens because one of these two tiles is detected and resolved before the other one so the collision vector will uh, differ and uh, sometimes it will get pushed uh, back uh, um, horizontally before it will get pushed back vertically and this will cause the problem so let me explain uh, it a little better let's say our player is moving between these two tiles and it is moving but, uh, in this direction, this is the, mov the movement vector. Now you can see that the player is uh, uh, colliding both with uh, this tile and this tile at the same time. What happens is that uh, this tile wants to push the player back to the left. So we have this resolution vector, while this other tile wants to push the player back up. So we have this other vector. The, the behavior we would want to happen is that uh, the, the player would have to be pushed up first and uh, not pushed to the left so that it won't, it won't get stuck in the crack between the tiles. Uh, there are some ways to solve this. Basically, if you first look at the situation, you understand that the problem is the order in which the uh, tiles get resolved. If this tile result is resolved first, sorry, then the player will get stuck because it will move to the left and then it will move up, so it will get stuck in this point. But if this tile is resolved first, the player will get uh, pushed up and it won't collide anymore with this tile so it will slide across the tiles evenly. How, how can we achieve, achieve this, uh, this result? I know of two methods. One I made up uh, myself and the other I found it in, a, in the tick source forums. So I'll start with the, the method I found on these forums which is a little easier to understand and maybe to implement depending on the language you're using. So, when the player is intersecting both the tiles and it's moving to the right and to the bottom at the same time, it will uh, ha happen in a situation like this. As you can see, the area of the overlap is different for both of the tiles. We want the tile with the biggest area overlap to be resolved first. This is the area I'm talking about. As you can see, it's easy to understand what we, we are going to do. We, we are, are going, going to, to sort the tiles based on the area overlap of the player. So we want the tile with the biggest area overlap to be resolved first and then the one with the smallest area overlap. Finding this area is quite easy because uh, our tiles will be uh, axis aligned uh, bounding boxes 
so you are going to know the this point, this point, this point, and this point, and also obviously the points on the player. So it's a matter of uh, finding the right uh, uh, additions or subtractions to find this segment and this segment. Once you find these two segments, obviously if you multiply them together you get the area overlap. So uh, after some calculations you'll find, uh, for example, that this area overlap is 10 and this area overlap is 2. What you want to do is uh, sort the tiles uh, in a way that the one with the biggest area overlap will get resolved first so that uh, in our situation the body will be pushed up and it won't collide anymore with the second tile so the crack problem will not happen. As I said before, there is another solution to this problem uh, which I created myself. It's basically uh, merging the tiles at runtime and by runtime I mean uh, not uh, during the creation of the game environment but uh, you just create the game environment as always with tiles and then during the, the player's update loop what you do is Uh, you look for all the nearby, nearby tiles. This uh, has to be done with uh, a relatively uh, efficient spatial hashing uh, um, algorithm like a grid or uh, um, a quad tree which helps speed up the process of looking uh, for tiles. And uh, what you do is you find tiles that have the same Y position, the same uh, top position in this case, these two tiles share the same top position and then you, you, uh, you check if the right side of the first tile is equal to the left side of the second tile so you see, you see if they are um, glued together on this side if these two conditions apply, you can then uh, a sort of merge the two tiles so the equivalent of these two tiles is a bigger tile that looks like this and obviously a bigger tile will be resolved as a single body so the player won't have the problem, the crack problem it won't get stuck here because there's nothing to get stuck on uh, this method is uh, uh, not uh, much faster or slower than the other one, but uh, depending on your implementation it might be easier or harder to uh, implement. So, thank you for watching, I hope I explained myself uh, decently. Uh, this, is, this was my first video, let me know in the comments if you need uh, any clarification and if you have any suggestion for the next video. Thank you for watching.